I'm setting up my Instagram right now too. I'm going live on the Instagram as well. So we'll see how this works. Um, I've actually really preferred the Zoom thus far. So yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. Super excited. This is actually only like, I think I've only done three virtual yoga classes. So I'm stoked to be doing this now. Um, and it's something that I've actually always wanted to do. So thanks for joining and being a part of it. Um, this is for, you know, I actually mostly practice upstairs in my home, but this is where we're practicing in today for myself, my backyard. What's up? So good. Okay. So, um, we're going to be doing one hour and we don't really need too many props. So when you're ready, go ahead and come into child pose. So you'll point your feet back, open your knees wide, and then stretch your arms forward so that your elbows come down to the ground. And you'll place your forehead down onto your mat. So I'm gonna be practicing with you guys, but I'm also gonna be like popping out of the poses just so that you can actually hear me a little bit better. Um, because I don't have the ear pods or the, the microphone quite si uh, set up quite yet. So once you get into child's pose, go ahead and take 10 full rounds of breath. So I'll do that. I'll join you in this moment. So take, take a big inhale and exhale. Nine, inhale, and exhale. Relax the forehead, relax the jaw. The eyes remain closed. Okay, relax your shoulders, relax your hips. And especially notice if you've been sitting for longer periods of time, just take note of that, right? So you might start to feel your psoas. They might be starting to tense up if you're sitting a lot. Um, but if you haven't already come to yoga with an intention, go ahead and set one for today. And maybe it's just like, you know, staying open, staying receptive, new, creative in our practice and in our lives. So big inhale and exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Go ahead, gently rise up into a tabletop position. Hands underneath the shoulders. Spread the fingers out nice and wide. You can curl the toes under. Inhale, lengthen the chest forward. And exhale, tuck the chin and round in. You inhale to lengthen, just warm up the spine. And exhale, tuck the chin, round in. You three, inhale, and exhale. Two, inhale, and exhale. Okay, back to a neutral spine. You'll walk your hands just an inch or two forward, and then get some movement into your hips. So you, you bring the hips all the way forward, collarbones wide, exhale, the hips back, the forehead to the ground. So five times, inhale, you rise up, and exhale, you move the hips all the way back. Do three, inhale to rise, and exhale. Two, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Now, when you bring your hips all the way back towards the heels, you'll swoop your hips over to the left. So you're drawing these big circles, hips forward, and your hips down on the right. So you inhale to the left side, and exhale down to the right. Just two more, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Okay, switch sides. So inhale up through the right, exhale down to the left. Inhale to rise up, exhale to push back. 
Last two, you can close your eyes, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Okay, inhale back to table. Curl your toes and lift your knees up. So tuck your chin in towards your chest. It doesn't have to come super close, but just uh, long enough so that you're creating more space through your cervical spine. Your core is nice and strong. Now today I wanted to kind of focus on upper body, shoulder mobility and strengthening, but it's always nice to incorporate a little bit of core. So your hips are no higher than your shoulder. So make sure you're nice and low. Walk the left hand forward, the left foot forward, the right hand forward, the right foot forward. And you're just crawling, you're staying nice and low, keeping the hips level as possible and then you reverse it. You walk all the way back to your mat and lift your hips up, downward facing dog. So the heels will come down towards the ground. Inhale, both heels lift up. Exhale, the heels back down. Uh, focus on your breath. Inhale, lift the heels up. Open mouth, exhale, the heels down. Do two, inhale, heels up. Open mouth, exhale, the heels down. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Okay, inhale, shift forward, plank. Exhale, lift the hips up, walk your feet back, or uh, your hands back towards your feet, bend your knees. Grab a hold of opposite elbows, ragdoll. So you're gonna move your elbows over to the right, let your head hang in between your arms. The right knee is bent, the left leg is straight. Inhale, and exhale, switch. The left knee is bent, the right leg is straight. Extend out through the elbows, relax the head down. To feel this along the right side body. One more round of breath, inhale. And exhale, both knees bend, release the hands, interlace them behind you at your spine. So the knees stay bent, especially in this first forward fold or the first few moments of class. Inhale, lift the chest forward and straighten your legs. So you look forward towards the middle of the mat or the top edge of the mat. Exhale, fold, bend the knees. Inhale, lift the hips back up, arms up. And exhale, bend the knees. So just focus on the, the legs. Inhale, lift the chest up legs straight. Exhale, bend the knees, belly to thighs. Last one, inhale, rise. And exhale, knees bend, hands to your hips. Okay, the elbows point up, inhale, stand up, long through the spine, reach the head up, the arms down alongside the body. Inhale, roll the shoulders up towards the ears. Open mouth, exhale, shoulders down and back. So go ahead, close your eyes here, and wherever you are, relax your forehead, the jaw, the shoulders, the heart is lifted, proud, and the belly pulled in towards the spine. A ground down, nice and strong through your legs, but all the way down to your feet. So there's uh, four corners of each foot. So it's the base of the big toe mound, the base of the pinky toe mound, and then the inner and outer heels. And notice if there's any kind of swaying or imbalance that you may feel, and that is speaking to you, just find your breath, big inhale. And when you exhale, your breath moves down the spine, down the legs, all the way to the ground. We inhale, roll the shoulders up. Open up, exhale, shoulders down and back. We inhale, reach your arms up. You can move your arms slightly back. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, hands to the ground. Okay, slide the hands up the shins, look forward towards the top or the middle of the mat. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, belly to the thighs. Walk your hands forward. Take an inhale here. And exhale. Okay, kick the heels forward and heels back. Just one more like this, inhale, 
and exhale. Okay, right elbow down, left elbow down. Right hand up, left hand up. Do that four times on, actually five times total on each side. So that was four, three, hips and shoulders level, two, last one on this side, and then go ahead and just pause here in that forearm plank. Inhale, take the heels forward, and the heels back. Let's do two, inhale, heels forward, and heels back. Last one, bring the knees down, the hips down, sphinx pose, part forward, and tuck the chin and towards the chest. A right cheek to the right shoulder, you keep the eyes closed, maybe just nod your head up and down a few inches. Okay, and switch sides, left cheek, left shoulder. And nod the head up and down, bring it back through center, inhale. Okay, curl the toes under and lift the hips back up. Left hand where the left elbow was, right hand where the right elbow was. A left elbow, right elbow. This is four. Use your breath. Three. Two. And last one. Okay, hold here. Lower the hips just another inch. Scoop your tailbone just a little bit under so you find a little bit more length in the low back. One more inhale. And exhale, knees down, hips down, sphinx pose, harder forward. And gently release the chest down, the hands will slide down where the elbows were. Okay, so inhale, lift the chin up, lift the chest up. Exhale, lower the left cheek down to the ground. So you feel like you gaze over your right shoulder. And then inhale, lift the chin up, the chest up. And bring the right cheek to the ground. So when you do this, inhale, lift up, bring your legs together, the knees ho uh, hover off the ground, and you're strengthening your low back, your core, your, uh, your glutes, left cheek down. So you inhale to lift up, and exhale the right cheek down. You two, inhale, lift up, and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Okay, curl the toes under. So modified child pose, you push up. Actually, before we do our modified child pose, since we're working those arms and still warming up the shoulders, um, you'll do five tricep push-ups modified. So lift your feet up and bring your feet together, or even cross the ankles. Lower the chest down, and then all the way back up. So let's just do four. Three, two, last one. Okay, back up and bring the elbows down where the uh, where the hands where hands come together. You'll lift the hands up, melt your chest down. Okay, so five breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Four, and exhale. Keep breathing, inhale, and exhale. Last one, big inhale, and exhale. Okay, so go ahead and rise up, sit back on your feet, your soul turned or your chest is pointed towards the top of the mat. Okay, and then go ahead and close your eyes, relax your forehead, relax your jaw, and just start to breathe. So something that's been really helpful for me, um, my yoga practice, what it looks like currently is um, well, I'm exercising, but I'm also doing more chanting and meditation. And right, so um, meditation at the end of the day, and even when I wake up, and even sometimes in the middle of the day. All right, so um, we'll just chant Om 
three times. And what's nice about chanting OM at this point, virtually no one can hear you, except for maybe your housemates, right? So you can be as off key in your OM as you would like <laughs> or need to be. But um, we'll take two full rounds of breath. And on the second exhale, we'll chant OM three times. So inhale, roll the shoulders up. Open mouth, exhale, shoulders down and back. Big inhale. Oh. Two more inhale. Oh. Last one. So whether you have a meditation practice or even a chanting practice, um, or if you don't, this is just a great way to take a moment to be present and even send out a few blessings or prayers, right? So health and happiness or um, just tapping into maybe a little bit of creativity during this time. So adjusting and changing what we normally do and what our schedules normally look like. So go ahead, bring your hands forward, inhale. Tabletop, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels up. Open mouth, exhale the heels down. Inhale the heels up. Open mouth, exhale heels down. You can bring your feet together, big toes touch. A, reach the right leg up. Bend the knees, stack the hips open. You can take a few circles with that right knee. You can stack the hips, extend the right leg up, circle the foot. Exhale the knee to the right elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale for four. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Two. Inhale. One. Step the foot all the way forward between the hands. Get light on the fingertips. You want the right ankle underneath the knee. So if you need to wiggle the front foot forward, you can do that. And walk the hand slightly forward. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Big toes touch. Your feet can be slightly apart. Inhale, lengthen the hands to the shins. Gaze forward. Exhale to fold, bend the knees. Inhale, chair pose. Reach the arms up. Knees up. Exhale, strike the arms down. Stand up. So inhale for chair. Reach the arms up. And exhale, Tadasana, Mountain Pose, arms down alongside the body. Just three times, inhale. And exhale, if you feel solid, ground it to your feet and close your eyes. Inhale, three. And exhale. Inhale, two. And exhale. Last one, inhale. Okay, stay here, exhale the elbows out nice and wide. So squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back as you gaze up. Inhale, arms up, and exhale the elbows wide. Three, inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale. Last two, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, reach up, stand all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hands down to the ground. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to shin. Exhale, fold, hands to the ground, step back, plank, inhale. Exhale, the knees down. Just five more tricep push-ups. So lower the chest down and then push all the way up. Let's do four. Inhale. Exhale, three. Two and one. Okay, child's pose. Sink the hips back over the heels. Take a breath. Inhale and exhale. 
Inhale to gently rise back, table. Curl the toes, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Okay, inhale, lift the left leg up, bend the knee, sack the hips open, circle the foot, circle the knee out, reach the left leg up so the hips are stacked. Exhale the knee to the left elbow. Inhale, lengthen, extend. Exhale for four. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Two. Inhale. One. Step the foot between the hands. Again, if your ankle isn't underneath your knee, you grab your foot with your, your hand and you wiggle the toes forward so that it is. It get a little bit lighter through the fingertips. Inhale. Exhale the shoulders down away from the ears. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale, big step forward, chair pose. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, sink the hips a little bit lower. Inhale to stand all the way up. Exhale, the arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. So you're just making a prayer mudra. mudra. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. Three, inhale and exhale last two and exhale okay this time inhale the arms up interlace the hands so palms face up towards the sky inhale roll the shoulders up roll the shoulders down and back okay ground through the feet inhale lift up lengthen in the spine exhale the hands to the right bend the knees and again going for that little side body stretch Reach your hands towards the right side of the mat. Tuck the chin in, and with your inhale, go ahead and gently rise back up, and switch sides. Okay, so you get that side body stretch, bend the knees, you round in a little bit, inhale, and exhale a little bit deeper. There's an, in, there's an airplane, if you can hear it. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, the arms down. Okay, just standing in Tadasana Mountain Pose, close the eyes. So just acknowledging the internal, the external, the noises that we may be experiencing in our own space, in our own bodies, in our own mind, in our own hearts. And we're constantly in this practice, constantly peeling back the layers, right? the physical body, the mental body, emotional body, the bliss body, so that we can tap in to a little bit of creativity of that bliss body. So roll the shoulders up, open up, exhale, shoulders down and back. Okay, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the ground. So inhale, lengthen, hands to shins. Exhale, fold, plant the hands down, step back, plank, take a breath here. Exhale, lower all the way to, to the belly. Inhale, cobra, point the feet back, knees are lifted, hips are down, elbows bent. Curl the toes, keep the belly strong, push all the way up, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, inhale. Nice, slow exhale. The quality of your breath is important. Inhale. And exhale. So every time you breathe, it's like you feel your rib cage expand really wide. So you're stretching the muscles in between the ribs, the inner muscles, right? So one more breath like that. Inhale, the rib cage expands. And then exhale, it pulls back in. Okay, lift the heels up. Bend the knees, step or jump the feet forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Okay, bend the knees, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, the arms down, come to stand. Okay, inhale, roll the shoulders up. Open mouth, exhale, shoulders down and back. Chair pose, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the ground. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to shins, and exhale, fold, step back, plank, inhale, 
exhale lower hover shoulders level with the elbows inhale to up dog or cobra knees hips lifted arms straight curl the toes under the hips up downward facing dog they lift the heels up bend the knees step or jump feet forward halfway lift inhale and exhale fold chair pose inhale arms up Exhale to stand, arms down. Inhale, roll the shoulders up. Roll the shoulders down and back. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the ground. Halfway lift, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Step back, plank, Dandasana, inhale. Exhale, lower, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha, Downward Facing Dog. A okay, three breaths, inhale. And exhale. Two. And exhale, press down through the hands, the perimeter of the hands, the fingertips, last one. And exhale. Okay, lift the heels, bend the knees, step or jump feet forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold, chair pose, inhale, arms up, exhale, come to stand, Tadasana, chair pose, inhale, arms up, exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, halfway lift, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, fold, now this time step the left foot back, go ahead and bring the knee down to the ground, inhale, reach the arms up, Anjaneyasana, okay, left arm forward, right arm back, so you're just reaching back, look at the right thumb, inhale, reach all the way back up, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, one, yeah, and then keep that Left, actually, go ahead and place that left hand down onto the ground, the right arm up, lift the back knee up, gaze up, and release the hand down. Okay, rise to the fingertips, inhale, and exhale, step forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Chair pose, inhale, come to stand, exhale. Chair pose, inhale, exhale, hands to the ground. Halfway lift, inhale, and fold. You can step the right foot back, knee to the ground, inhale, the arms up overhead. A okay, left arm, or excuse me, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, reach all the way up, and exhale, belly in towards the spine. Two more, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. The right hand down, keep the top arm lifted, the back knee comes off the ground. You roll the, the top shoulder blade back, big inhale, lengthen, and exhale, release. Rise onto the fingertips, inhale, strong in the core, and exhale, deck the chin in, step forward. Halfway lift, inhale. We fold, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. And exhale, come to stand. Okay, so go ahead and walk your feet, your toes slightly out, your feet, uh, knees pointed out a little bit. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, and you'll sweep your arms back, bring your chest down onto your thigh. So you reach back, look back, and then inhale, stand all the way up. So really simple. Exhale, the arms back, the head looks back, relies, look back. Inhale, reach up. Do five. So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, three, two, and one, inhale, reach up. Now this time you're going to add just like a double pulse and in your knees. So it's like you reach your arms up, exhale, exhale, inhale up. So exhale, inhale up. So exhale through the nose, 
Inhale up, three, two, and one. Inhale, reach all the way up. Okay, walk your feet together. Exhale, hands to heart. And arms down alongside the body. Inhale, roll the shoulders up. And open up, exhale, shoulders down and back. And just stand here, breathing, present with your breath. Inhale, exhale. So that nice, audible, oceanic sounding breath, the lips are sealed and you're just breathing through the nose. But again, it's this really dynamic breath that's happening. So you're not just feeling it in your chest, which is really common, but try to move the breath into your rib cage. So every time you inhale, your rib cage expands, just like this. And then exhale, the rib cage comes together. And you should feel it in your core too. So inhale, and with your exhale, you pull your belly in towards your spine. Okay, one more like that. Inhale, and exhale. Okay, inhale, the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the ground. You slip the left foot back, keep the back knee lifted. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, the left arm forward, the right arm back. Inhale, you reach all the way up. Same thing, exhale, reach out or open. Two more, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Okay, left hand to the inside of the foot, reach the right arm up, gaze up. Release the hand down, jump, switch, or set the left foot forward and the right foot back. Inhale, the arms overhead. Exhale, the left arm back, the right arm forward. So you reach all the way up, get tall. Stay low in the front leg, exhale, open up. Do two more, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Right hand comes to the inside of the foot, top arm lifts up, gaze up. Roll the top shoulder blade back. And release, hand frame of the foot, step back, plank. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So three breaths, inhale. And exhale. Two. And exhale. Lift the heels, bend the knees. Step or jump, feet forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. A hands to the hips, little bend in the knees, elbows point up, inhale to stand up, lead with the head. Exhale, the arms down. I just pause here, close the eyes. Inhale to exhale. I must focus on the prana, the breath. Inhale. Moves up the spine, exhale, the breath moves down the spine. Right, so just breathing, inhale, the breath up, and exhale, the breath and the energy moves down the spine, down the legs, through the feet. So inhale, when you, uh, you bring that breath up the spine, through the crown of the head even, shoulders roll back, heart open. Last breath, inhale and exhale okay reach the arms back overhead inhale exhale fold forward little bend in the knees long flat straight straight spine inhale halfway lift lengthen and exhale step back plank inhale exhale chaturanga inhale up dog exhale downward facing dog okay, take an inhale Relax the neck, shoulders away from the ears. Reach the right leg up. And exhale, set the foot between the hands, arms up overhead. So crescent lunge, reach the arms all the way up. Open into warrior two. So arms come parallel to the ground. Now you want your wrists somewhat um, stacked over the feet or the ankles. But if that doesn't happen, that's okay too. But maybe you can start to widen your stance. Maybe walk that right foot forward. Inhale, straighten the front leg and reach the arms up. Exhale the arms out nice and wide, bend the knees. Inhale the arms all the way back up. 
and exhale for three. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, one. Okay, right hand down, left hand follow. Step back, plank, inhale. A little bit more, lift that back leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, left leg up, inhale. Step the foot between the hands, crescent lunge under the ass now, reach the arms all the way back up. Okay, spread the fingers wide and roll the shoulders up towards the ears. Roll the shoulders down and back, bend the front knee. So you're feeling the length and the stretch through the psoas, the hip flexors. Again, you've been sitting a lot, right? So you bend that front knee and pull the belly towards the spine. Open into warrior two, okay? Wrist stack somewhat over the ankles. Okay, back foot parallel to the back edge of the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up, straighten the front leg. And exhale to open out wide. Let's do three, inhale, reach up. And exhale. Inhale, two. Even close the eyes. Last one, inhale. And exhale, release. Left hand down, right hand follows. Step back, plank. You can lift that left leg up. Exhale to lower. Inhale to up dog. Ooh, exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, walk your hands back toward your feet. Bend your knees, belly to thighs. Slide your hands, palms face up underneath the feet. And elbows bend away from one another. Relax your head down to the top of the head down, chin in towards the chest. And then eventually you start to lift those hips up. So I know that you may feel like this is challenging and you may not feel like this is challenging. So usually like the Monday night class is, can, can get pretty heated, but sometimes it's really nice to take a few steps back and slow down breathe into our hamstrings so we really start to open the hamstrings up so it's like people that want to do like the splits and all these you know more advanced poses you have to do the forward folds and you have to stretch your hamstrings in order to get to these more advanced levels or poses right so take a breath here tuck the chin relax the head down maybe lift the hips up last inhale and exhale, release. Walk the hands all the way forward, back into plank, inhale. And exhale, bring the right knee down to the ground. The left foot will come parallel to the back edge of the mat. Right foot, flare it off the mat, reach the left arm up. And reach that top arm alongside the ear. Okay, the shoulder rolls up and then shoulder down and back. So start to spin your chest, your heart more open towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, release, and switch sides. Okay, the right leg back, the left or the right arm up. Big inhale, lengthen, reach. If it's a lot on the neck, you look down. Okay, and even just checking on that bottom arm, you press on through the fingertips, little bend in the elbow so that the tricep is turned on, it's working. Gaze up and release. A back to plank, inhale, forearm plank, exhale, a five breaths, inhale, and exhale, three, inhale, two, inhale, one, okay, walk the feet towards the, the elbows, so that might mean just bending the knees a little bit. Okay, bending the knees a lot. Now, if you have a headstand practice and you wanted to explore that, you're more than welcome to do so. Or since you're in your home, maybe you're close by to a wall, you can also do the headstand next to the wall. Um, really focus, if, especially if you're newer to this headstand, you really wanna focus on pressing down through the elbows and the wrists in order to find more length through your cervical spine. I like to even just hover my head and it's more like a forearm stand. You can lift one leg up off the ground at a time and then maybe you lift both legs up.
Okay, forearm plank when you're ready. Let's shift it forward. Once again, inhale and exhale. Again, if you want to do, if you want to start working on inversions, it's really important to get this core strength down to do some of these more basic um, poses in order to build upon that, right? So the shoulder mobility, the shoulder strength, the core strength, the hamstring flexibility, is all a part of getting up, upside down or inverting, right? So bring the knees down, the hips down, sphinx pose, inhale. And exhale, release the chest down. Slide the hands back where the elbows were. Curl the toes. Now you can do this on your knees. You just push up into plank or you lift the knees up and then push all the way up. Lift the hips up, down and facing back. Okay, reach the right leg up, inhale. And exhale, step the foot forward. Crescent, reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, the left elbow to the outside of the right thigh or knee. And you can stay here a little bit more. You can straighten out the arms. You can, if you have a block, you bring, bring the block to the outside of the right foot. And otherwise, pull the belly in and then exhale to twist and gaze back. If it's again too much on your neck, you look down. Take another breath, inhale and exhale. A back into crescent, so reach your arms all the way up overhead. And straighten that front leg. Exhale, hands to heart. A bend the front knee, lower the chest towards the thigh. And you can take a few steps in or reach that left leg up. Okay, hips and shoulders squared. Bend the right knee, bring the belly to the thigh. So inhale. And exhale, straighten the bottom leg. So you should feel this in your booty, in your booty, in your glutes, in your, in your butt. Bend the front knee. Inhale to straighten the leg. One more time, exhale to bend. A feet together, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the low back. Fingertips point down, look down at your feet. Okay, setting up for a nice foundation, feet about six to eight inches apart. Gaze up. Press the hips gently forward, the eyes back. Again, your glutes aren't just chilling here, right? You're pulling your, your glute muscles are nice and turned on or engaged just a little bit. So you look back. Inhale to gently rise to center. Exhale the arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, long straight spine, knees bend. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, step or jump back. If you jump back, you want to lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down or facing dog. So just to clarify what I mean, bring your knees down and sink your hips back. So it can be kind of jarring. It's, and it's totally up to you, and you might want to try it for yourself. But for me, what I, I've been practicing for so many years that um, it's really hard on my low back. I'm going to do it just for you guys to watch for a minute. Um, to jump back into plank. That's like, I feel it in my low back. So instead, and to make it a little bit more challenging, when you jump back, you lower through chaturanga, right? So your elbows bend, inhale to up dog, and then exhale to down dog. Go ahead, step back into down dog. If you're not already there, I will move to the second side. So lift the left leg up, exhale, step it forward. Crescent lunge, inhale, the arms up overhead. And exhale, hands to heart, bend the front knee. Go ahead and reach the arms back up overhead. Big inhale. Exhale, the right elbow to the right thigh. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, the twist. You can stay here or a little bit more challenging, you straighten your arm. And even if you wanted to modify that, you bring your right hand down to the left arm up. So it's really all levels here. So just pick whatever you did on the last side or whatever feels better on this side. And go ahead, back to crescent, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Straighten the front leg, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, bend the front knee. Lean the chest forward. A few steps or one big step, reach the right leg up. A hips and shoulders squared. You're feeling in your glutes, your, your core is nice and strong the right hip planks down. 
Okay, bend the bottom knee. Inhale to straighten the leg. So exhale to bend the knee. Do two more, inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Okay, feet together, inhale, arms up. Exhale the arms down, hands to the ground. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Okay, step the left foot back and reach the right arm up. So you can stay here. Okay, next option, bring the back knee down and the left elbow to the outside of the right thigh or knee. Right, so it's the same thing here, except the back knee is down on the ground. Okay, now from here, you either stay or you bring your hands on the long side of the mat. You want your hands completely flat on the ground, and it's almost like you're pressing your fingertips into the ground like you're clawing or like you're gonna pick up some dirt with your hands. Right, so the, the arms, the hands about shoulder distance apart, bend your elbows so that your right hip comes to your right elbow, and then maybe you start to lower your head so that your head, your face is like six inches away, uh, six inches away from the ground, and that might scare the shit out of you. And, you know, hopefully you're not on cement like I am, so don't take any teeth out. <laughs> um, but there's a cute saying, it's like, if you fall, I'll, I'll catch you floor, sincerely floor. So the floor will definitely catch you. But if you want, start to bend that front knee and start to lift the left, the left leg up. Okay, big inhale. You can straighten out the front leg. And then when you're ready, you release. You bring it back to where we started. Hands come together. Okay, reach the arms up overhead, gaze up. Exhale, hands to heart. Lift the back knee, reach the arms up overhead. A exhale, hands to heart, chest forward. Go ahead, warrior three stands, the left leg up. This time, maybe the arms alongside the ears. You inhale, lengthen, and exhale, the arms down, the feet together. Inhale, roll the shoulders up. Open up, exhale, shoulders down and back. That was a lot. Especially a lot for me because I normally don't teach and practice at the same time. So inhale, reach your arms up overhead. So if you're feeling good, exhale, fold. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to fold. And if you're not feeling it and you want to feel it more, focus on your breath, right? Uh, the, the breath, that prana, life force energy. going to heat your body up. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Now step or jump back. Again, if you're jumping back, catch yourself through chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale to down dog. A left leg up, inhale. Bend the knee, step the foot between the hands. So it's the same thing. I'm just switching side because I feel like you can hear me more if I'm talking towards the devices. <laughs> A hands come together, elbow to the knee, inhale and exhale to twist. So you're here, you can stay here. Okay, next, next option, you straighten out your arms. You want your shoulders stacked. So that means you're pressing the bottom elbow against the, the left knee, and the left knee is equally pressing into that right arm. Okay, you stay here, or the hands come down to the ground. Again, you want your, the heels of the palms, it's like you're pressing down through the perimeter of the hands, more so through the fingertips, like there's a suction cup in your hands. Your hands are pulling up and in. You bend your elbows, you land your hip to that left elbow, and then maybe you lift the back leg up. You can keep the front knee bent, or you straighten the leg out. Take an inhale here, and exhale to release back down. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, the back knee up. Inhale, the reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Lean the chest forward. Warrior three, you can extend the arms forward this time. The shoulders, hips are squared. Tiny bend in the knee, so you find a little bit more length in that low back, and you should feel this in your glutes. So press down to the left big toe. Inhale, the arms up, feet together. 
Exhale, fold forward, hand to the ground. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Step or jump back. Lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, bring the knees down to the ground. And when you stand on your knees, go ahead and reach your arms forward. The so inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, the arms forward, lean the shoulders back. So it's like a letter V in your body. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, keep the hips forward, arms parallel to the ground. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Two, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And we exhale. Okay, inhale up, hands to the low back. Okay, again, knees are about five to six inches apart. Lengthen, gaze up towards the sky. And press the hips forward, the shoulders down. Your hands can reach back for your heels if it's available. If it feels like too much, keep your hands to your low back. Your gaze back, hips forward, big inhale. And then walk yourself back up. We're in that deeper variation. Bring your, your hips down over your heels. Hands onto your thighs or onto your knees. Tuck your chin in towards your chest round in. Inhale, heart forward, shoulder blades together. And exhale, tuck the chin round in. You two, inhale, just stretching through the upper back. Exhale to round in. Last one, inhale and exhale. Okay, back to neutral, roll the shoulders up. Open up, exhale, shoulders down and back. One more inhale, roll them up. Open up, exhale, shoulders down and back. It just, let's take a, a few twists since we're here. So right hand onto the outside of the left thigh, left hand back, inhale, gaze over that left shoulder as you twist the rib cage towards the left side of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale the twist. One more breath here. And release, switch sides. Make a big inhale, and exhale the twist. Last breath here. And release. Okay, bring your hands down to the ground, your forearms all the way down to the ground. So actually, um, I'm gonna give you two variations. So you're gonna do baby crow, which is really fun. Um, or if you wanted to work on, actually a, a baby crow, it's either crow or crane, but um, the options are here. So this is gonna be the, a little bit more advanced pose. So I'll show you this one and then we'll, we'll go through the other ones. Unless you know crow or crane, then you're more than welcome to explore that. Otherwise, um, I like to curl my toes under and just kind of walk my knees in towards my armpits. Okay, my knees are gonna hug toward, uh, just underneath my armpits, more like on my triceps. As you lean forward, you can start to lift one or both feet up off the ground. Again, your face is super close to that ground. So um, it, even if you wanted to place a, a blanket or a pillow in front, then you're more than welcome to do that. Otherwise, crow or crane, you walk your hands forward, you lift your hips up, you walk your feet together, lift your heels up, bend your knees, bend your elbows, knees hug in, hug in towards your armpits, your triceps, and you start to lift one foot, off the ground, maybe both. Maybe start to straighten out your arms. Okay, so again, it's all about those hands. So you're pressing the hands down into the ground, right? You're pressing down through the fingertips. And it's literally like, look how weird my hand looks with that suction cup, right? So this is essentially what your hand looks like when you're pressing down into the ground, right? The, the center of the hand pulls up and in. So, you're there, 
Okay, let's go ahead and um, sink their hips back and just stretch out the wrists a little bit. So bring the knees down because we're not we're not quite done with our inversion play here. Okay, um, reach your arms forward. The right arm is going to come over the left arm. Okay, flip your palms, bring them together, hands together, interlace. Okay, hands will come in towards the chest and then you extend the arms forward. Now you're going to feel this in your forearms and even that uh, range of motion to your wrists might be a little bit intense. So even if you don't um, necessarily keep your hands bound, but ideally your hands are, your, are bound, or at least close to binding. So even if that means like grabbing a hold of one finger, then that's fine too. And then you'll release and switch sides. So draw the hands in, extend the arms forward. You bring the hands towards the chest, you extend. Okay, hands back in, forward and back out. Okay, so uh, let's stretch our wrists a, or a little bit more. Um, bring your hands down, fingertips turn inward. Okay, and just move the hips forward and back. A few rounds of that. And flip your hands out, fingertips out. Doing that. And then the fingertips all the way back towards the knees. Bend your knees. and. If this feels good, like not too much pressure, then you can stay with that light pulse. Otherwise, you can just draw your hips back over your heels. You can tuck your chin in. Take an inhale, take an exhale. And before we move into our side uh, crow or crane, we will stretch out our forearms a little bit more as well. So you'll bring the left forearm, the left elbow down to the ground and walk your knees nice and close to your arm and bring your right knee in towards your chest and place it down at the base of the, the right forearm, right? So you're kind of rolling forward and back. You walk your knee in a little bit closer towards your hand. It's kind of like a, a rolling pin action. You're massaging that that left arm. You'll notice your hands, your fingers will curl in towards the wrist. And then you switch sides. So the right elbow down, you bring your knee nice and close to the base of the arm. You roll forward, you roll back. Now bring your hands forward at the top of the mat. So it's just like how we were, right? Hands at the top of the mat. My goodness, it's already seven. It's already been an hour. How is this possible? Okay, so my Instagram people, it's gonna end for you, but not for my Zoom people. <laughs> so you walk the hands forward. Go ahead, you're in a standing forward fold. You lift your heels, bend the knees, and then move your hip knees to the right. Bend your elbows, and then start to uh, lean forward onto your elbows and maybe lift one foot, both feet briefly. And then you switch sides. So that's what's great about these arm balances. We got two sides, right? So walk your, your knees to the left, elbows bend, you hug, hug in nice and close. So it's literally like you're hugging in super, super close here on the ground. And you lift one foot up, both feet up. Okay, and then go ahead and bring your booty on the ground when you're done with that. I will um, wrap it up with a little bit of core before we sign off. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, stretch the arms forward, lean the shoulders back. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up, and exhale. And knees in towards the chest, reach the arms up. Exhale, the legs out, the arms out. So five, inhale, and exhale. Three, and exhale. Two, and exhale. Okay, last one, inhale. Okay, peace finger, the big toes, or uh, the fingers around the big toes and lift your hips or the, the legs straight. 
Okay, you can point your feet away from the body. You can open your legs wide, shoulders back, inhale. And exhale. Okay, keep legs together. Lower the body down and go ahead, lie completely uh, flat on your back. If there's any other poses, you're more than welcome to do. So if you wanted to do a reclined uh, spinal twist or if you wanted to do an inversion, uh, legs up the wall is also a great option. Otherwise, when you're in corpse pose Shavasana, your arms are out, your eyes closed, relax your shoulders, your legs out. Okay, shoulders relaxed, hips relaxed. And just doing a scan of the body. So noticing if you feel hopefully a little bit better than when we first started an hour ago. Remind yourself of that intention or even that prayer that you set at the beginning of class. Or if one comes to mind, a prayer that you would like to acknowledge or honor at this point. It's a great time to just think positive prayers or vibes. Scan the body, scan the mind, scan how you feel and all these layers, physical layer, mental layer, emotional layers, emotional bodies, a bliss body. So bringing it back to that bliss body, the creative human that we all are or once were, to tapping in to readjusting all right, shifting if you haven't yet gotten um, more familiar with what your your schedule is. Sometimes it's more challenging to work from home, or maybe you feel like it's more productive, which can most definitely be the case. Take a moment, wishing everyone and our family, friends, circles, this world, health and happiness. A global prayer. So when you're ready, reach your arms out overhead, arch your back, lift your heart. Bend your knees, bend your elbows. Roll over to one side, use your arm or pillow for your head. And with your inhale, you gently rise up, comfortable seat. And close your eyes. So we'll take two rounds of breath. On the second exhale, we'll chant um, once again. Okay, so inhale, roll the shoulders up. Open up, exhale, shoulders down and back. Big inhale. Oh. Use the arms overhead. And exhale, hands to heart. Taking a little bit more connected. Take the chin towards the chest. A little bit more grounded, creative, at ease. Yeah, that mind-body connection is real. So thank you all so much for joining me today virtually. It's been uh, my pleasure. Many blessings, and I hope everyone's feeling happy and healthy, at least at the end of the yogas. <laughs> Namaste. And I miss.